Have you ever wondered why, in moments of intense stress or fear, your body seems to take over, leaving you either ready to fight, to run away, or to completely freeze? Especially if you're a highly sensitive person or an empath, understanding these responses can be crucial. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to HSP TV channel. I am your host, Barbara, and today we're going to dive deep into something that affects us all, but is especially relevant to highly sensitive people and empaths. And those are the fight, flight, and the lesser known freeze responses. And so you might be already familiar with the fight or flight response, but did you know that freezing is also a common reaction, particularly for those of us who are more sensitive in this video, we'll explore when these responses occur, why they happen, and how they impact our lives. We'll also discuss the lesser known freeze response and its connection to childhood trauma. And finally, we'll talk about what you can do to manage these automatic reactions and regain control. So let's get into it. Let's start off with the basics. The fight, flight, and freeze responses are our body's natural automatic reactions to stress or danger. They are deeply ingrained in our biology, and they are designed to protect us from threats. And the fight response kicks in when your body prepares to confront a threat head on. Think about a time when you felt cornered and your immediate reaction was to stand your ground or push back. That's the fight mode. The flight response is your body's way of telling you to get out of there fast. Imagine being in a situation where you feel overwhelmed and all you wanna do is leave, whether it's an uncomfortable social setting or a tense meeting at work. That's your flight response taking over. And then there's the freeze response, which is less talked about, but equally important. The freeze response happens when your body feels so overwhelmed by a threat that it literally freezes. You may become paralyzed, unable to move or speak, as if your brain has hit the pause button. And for HSPs and empaths, these reactions can be even more intense because we're so in tuned to our environment and our emotions. So when and why do these responses occur? The fight, flight or freeze response is triggered by the amygdala, a part of your brain that detects threats. And when the amygdala senses danger, whether it's a physical threat or an emotional confrontation or even a traumatic memory, it sends signals to your body to react quickly. For example, let's say that you're an HSP and you walk into a room where there's tension in the air. You might immediately feel your heart race, your muscle stands up and your mind go into overdrive. And this could trigger a fight response where you feel the urge to confront the situation. Or it might activate your flight response, pushing you to leave as soon as possible. But for many HSPs, especially those with a history of trauma, the freeze response might take over, leaving you feeling stuck and unable to respond at all. So why? is the freeze response the lesser known one? Well, it's not as visible or talked about because it doesn't involve any obvious action. When someone is fighting, you can see it. They're engaging. When someone is fleeing, it's clear. They're running away. But when someone freezes, that is more internal almost invisible to the outside world. The freeze response is like your body's way of shutting down temporarily. It's common in situations where you feel powerless or trapped. 
for example, in a tense argument. Instead of fighting back or walking away, you might find yourself going quiet, unable to think or move. This can be particularly common in empaths and HSPs who are often more prone to feeling overwhelmed. So what is then the impact on highly sensitive people and empaths? You can imagine that these responses can have a profound impact on our lives, especially for highly sensitive people and empaths. Our heightened sensitivity means that we're more likely to pick up on subtle threats, whether they're emotional, social, or environmental. And this can make us more prone to experiencing intense fight, flight, or freeze reactions. For instance, an empath might walk into a room and immediately sense underlying tension that others don't notice. This could trigger a flight response, making them want to leave. Or if an HSP is in a conflict, they might freeze because the emotional intensity is just too overwhelming. These responses can affect our relationships, our work, and even our self-esteem. So what is then the influence of childhood trauma especially with regards to the freeze response. A childhood trauma plays a significant role in how we experience these responses, particularly the freeze response. If you've experienced trauma as a child, your nervous system might be more easily triggered into a freeze response as an adult. And this is because during traumatic events, your brain learned that freezing was a way to survive. For example, if you grew up in a volatile household, you might have learned to become invisible to avoid conflict, which is also a form of freezing. And as an adult, this response can resurface in stressful situations, leaving you feeling stuck or unable to act. It's a survival mechanism that served you in the past, but it can be limiting if it continues unchecked in adulthood. So how do you manage and heal the freeze response? What can you do about it? I'm glad you asked. The first step is awareness. Recognize when you're going into a fight, flight, or freeze response. Once you're aware, you can start practicing grounding techniques to bring yourself back to the present moment. Deep breathing, mindfulness, and even talking to a trusted friend or a therapist can help. It is also important to process any past trauma that might be triggering these responses. Therapy, particularly trauma-informed therapy, can be incredibly helpful. The goal is to retrain your nervous system to respond in healthier ways. And over time, you can learn to move through these automatic reactions and regain control over how you respond to stress. These are things that I often help my clients with. So if you are struggling with this, please reach out to me, email me, DM me, or book a free call via the link below this video. And let's talk about how we can get you healed from this response. So in conclusion, understanding the fight, flight, and freeze responses is key to managing your sensitivity and healing from past trauma. If this video resonated with you, then please share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you're looking for more support, then you might want to consider joining my solutions community. This is a community of like-minded people on a similar journey where we learn, grow, and support each other. There are various ways of joining, various levels of joining, each with their own price point and their own perks. So be sure to check them out. And if you'd like more personal support, then please book a call with me. The links to do both are in the description, probably below this video. And if you're new to this channel, I would love it if you could subscribe, hit the notification bell so you never miss another video again. 
for today. I want to thank you for watching. I want to thank you for supporting this channel, for being a fan. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.